Okay, so for this uh, blog, I'm going to explain a cool model in uh, Model Builder for counting overlapping polygons. And um, this idea comes from this blog by Dale Honeycutt. And it, um, basically, it's a way of creating maps that looks kind of like this. It looks at uh, a bunch of the different overlapping polygons and then looks at areas with higher concentration and lower concentration. Um, and I chose an example with um, uh, habitat data from the uh, from Mexico uh, from Conabio's website, and this is habitat data from for species that are in risk of uh, extinction or otherwise protected. And um, so what I did is I uh, looked for the species that have uh, coinciding habitat potential habitat areas within the state of Puebla and then I um, clipped those uh, habitat areas uh, I downloaded them and then clipped them to the state and then I merged them all into one uh, one layer so that that becomes the input for this model um, and I'll put a uh, I'll put a uh, the link to this blog uh, this blog post on my website, and uh, so if you so I'll run this tool for you, and if you go into ArcGIS, um, here's the tool, and it basically takes this file here that's the um, the one uh, the one shape file with all of the merged um, uh, polygons, and then it basically creates um, uh, recreates poly polygon spaghetti where by just deleting or basically like taking away all of the overlaps and making one flat file um, and then that has a bunch of overlapping lines um, and then those then feature to point basically counts all those small little areas where um, the uh, uh, of the polygon and then um, what it does it goes back uh, into this spatial join and looks at the uh, the original file uh, and it basically joins the, those numbers back to the original file and then um, so that means we have a count um, of how many times the those different areas have been are overlapped and then that gets joined to this spaghetti file and that um, is basically what becomes the output. The only other thing to do is there is one artifact of the analysis is that there are the processes that um, there's some extra um, polygons that have zero outputs or zero overlaps and so then those get deleted with this process at the end. So we'll just run through it here. And you can see in uh, Model Builder how each process uh, flows through and, and it goes to the next process. And you see them highlighted as it goes down the line. And so I'll close this out. We'll go to our output. And so here is the um, the base file that, that uh, is the output. And uh, so all these different uh, polygons here represent different overlaps. And so we will visualize those. Bring up the symbology. And if we go into symbolize quantities uh, we can symbolize for the join count and it's saying I need to increase my sample size so I will do that and then I'll press OK and you can see the uh, areas 
of higher concentration in their potential habitat areas seem to be in the northern part of the state and uh, in the eastern part in this area too. And so, yeah, this has been a demonstration of the, um, the overlap tool, uh, the accounting overlaps um, model builder tool.